All right. Good evening, one. Good evening, or welcome, welcome, welcome to the stream. Sit down, relax, grab yourself something to drink. Welcome to our second attempt at streaming the sinking city. The internet is back up and working. So let's hope we don't have experience any problems. My lights are out. It's currently 8 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. It is practically pitch black in this room. Got to get the immersion right, you know. This is very... I, th I hope this is going to be a very special game and I want to make sure the atmosphere is right. Or dressed up nice and warm because it is quite freezing tonight. Very cold. Let's go straight to it. Frosty welcome deed, Mr. Charles Reed. As you requested, I've, re I've researched the outburst of hysteria and visions in the city of Oatmont, Mass. It turns out that your assumptions were correct. Such cases are indeed more frequent here. Men and women from across the country are drawn to Oatmont, haunted by visions similar to yours. A city drowning, the presence of something great yet unknown. As luck has it, I believe you have stumbled upon the source of your ailment, and the person who might help you with it. Uh, prepare yourself, then come to Oatmont as soon as you can. I will meet you here to help you on your way. Cordially. Jones Vanderberg. Right, the screen is actually still quite bright, so I'm gonna darken it a bit more because it is hurting my eyes. What's up, you ugly bastard? I don't think that was Cthulhu. That looked like a disembodied head of Cthulhu. How's the quality of the stream? It's looking good so far. Right. So now, if I remember correctly, there's like a mine palace and all of that. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Law. This, this is what's got me really interested. The law. I think the law is going to be very fucking cool. I remember going through the upgrade system. Sorry, we got a first aid kit and that's pretty much it. We could save at any time, let's do that. How do I grab? Uh, as you requested, uh, oh, okay, so this is the same thing. Oh, that's the same thing. Okay, I can't pick up my gun for some reason. I can pick up the folding camera though. String coils, shell casings. Why can't I pick up my gun? 
hope I never have to use oh. it. But something tells me I will. That's why. Okay. So the, uh, for those uh, for those who don't know, this is a detective-based game, like you know, like mysteries and shit. So I'm reckon there's going to be like a lot of puzzles, never a lot of mystery, a all of that. Tourist advertisement. Monolith Path. Is, Monolith National Path is it's waiting for you. Now get hey, out. Hey, fam. Now get out. I'd buy. At last. Mr. Charles Reed, what a pleasure Stop. to finally meet you in the flesh. Nice to meet you. Johannes Vanderberg, at your service. I did promise to meet you the moment you arrived. Ah, much obliged, Mr. Vanderberg. I guess I didn't expect you to mean so literally. Please call me Johannes. But where are my manners? Welcome to the proud city of Oakmont. Alas, now is not its finest hour, though it is its most important. Uh, what's the deal with this Reaching city? Oakmont was no easy task. Most maps I found didn't mark it, and this rickety packet ship is the only one that sailed here. Why is that? Oakmont is no ordinary place. Its unique geographical position and the flood, a recent natural disaster, make it nigh impossible to reach. But you made it, Mr. V. I'm sure the tides of fate would have brought you here one way or another. The f I don't think the flood was natural, but let's ask about, about it. Flood. It began six months ago. Storms raged for several weeks, and the water has risen ever higher without receding. Now the city is cut off from the mainland. I must say I rather like it, despite the inconvenience. Atmosphere, you know? Uh, nice suit. Eye-catching suit. Thank you, Mr. Reed. A mere flood is no excuse for one to abandon one's style. I take it you're a big fan of yellow. Well, I have a particular weakness for it. Call it a personal quirk. Oh! Yellow, huh? Mm. You said you know someone who can help me with yellow. Life. That might be important later. The visions have been getting worse. Such vividness of dreams is not uncommon here in Oakmont. By chance, the man I spoke of, Robert Throgmorton, is already at the port. He has dedicated a lot of time and effort to investigate this issue. Alas, I fear he has a more pressing matter on his hands. Okay, he's fine, Mr. Throgmorton. Don't worry, you can't miss him. Throgmorton tends to <laughs> stand out from the crowd. What is he like? What about Mr. Throgmorton? A remarkable creature, scion of a robust bloodline, a philanthropist, a scholar, and the patron of the famous Oakmont University. A man of great ambitions and even greater ego. Do not make him wait. Alright, cool, but I still need some place to stay. I a place to lay my head while I'm here. Any recommendations? Fear not. I've already feathered a nest for you. There's a room in your name at the Devil's Reef Hotel. Here's the key. Sounds charming. Don't judge a book by its cover, Mr. Reed. How do I get to Devil's Reef? Uh, what do you do here? Let's get to, let's, let's ask about Devil's Reef. Get around Oakmont? I'd like to drop my things at the hotel. Most locals go by foot or by boat. I've got the latter sorted for you. There's one waiting outside the port. Ah, you're too kind, Johannes. Can you steer me towards the Devil's Reef? Take this map. I've marked the hotel and a few other key places. Thank you. The what else did you mark on the map? Like what? You're a private eye, yes? Well, I've highlighted the police station, city archive, newspaper. Places you'll need to get to the truth. This city is insular. Its ways mysterious. No one will take you by the hand. So you better know where to turn in search of a thief. 
My bit rate's acting up. Seems to have smoothed out now. What do you do here? Days, Mr. Vanderberg. I host a philosophy club for the like-minded intelligentsia. Gathering seeds of thought like moths drawn to a flame. So it won't really have much of a market for philosophy these days. There is no consciousness without pain, Mr. Reed. No better moment for clarity than times of hardship. Oh, hey, well. Now, I think. Uh, thanks for helping me get my bearings. No, no. The pleasure was mine, Mr. Reed. Oh, before you go, how can I get in touch with you later? Don't worry about that. I'm the kind of man who finds you. Tell me, Mr. Berg. Are you the king in yellow? Are you him, the Lord of Chaos? For those who don't know, there is an entity in Lovecraftian horror known as the King in Yellow. He goes by a whole bunch of other names, but the King in Yellow is like his most common name. And he is a shape-shifting entity that feeds off chaos. Hence the Lord of Chaos title. He's always, always in yellow. So this dude, who comes up in here, dressed up in all yellow, when shit's going down, and then, I don't what know, man, doing? that's like, it's got me all giddy. <laughs> I think this dude is an entity. I think he's one of the old ones. Oh wow, the, oh wow, this map is big, okay. Okay, so there's the pier, can I zoom in? What is, what's what's so special about that building? Okay, I kind of want to explore a little bit. I like how they got all these like fishing, all these dead fish just laying around. There's a casual giant octopus here. I'm sure, they're used to the smell. What's this? Key evidence collected. Interesting, okay. Hello, shark. So I want to drop my stuff off at the hotel. Hello. Who are you? I don't care if about your petty excuses. No one leaves the port until my son is found, and that is final. <clears throat> uh, excuse me. Are you Robert Throgmorton? I am, but not interested. Go away. The name's Charles Reed. I'm a private investigator. Just arrived from Boston. I was told you might be able to help me. Private investigator, you say? Well, perhaps we can help each other. What if happened to your ask, son? What happened to your son? Why do you care? What's your angle, outsider? Well, like I said, I'm a PI. Finding people is kind of my specialty. Is it? Well, Albert was part of a deep sea expedition I commissioned. This useless fool over here says he found Albert washed ashore in a lifeboat. Says he was barely conscious, out of his mind, talking gibberish in some other language. But he even tried to bite him. And you don't believe him? Complete malarkey. I know my Albert. I raised him strong and smart, the best of his kind. It 
it couldn't have been him. Albert's disappearance is the work of Innsmouthers. Mark my words. You're a very hairy man and you do not sound like a good father. What do you know about the visions? Uh, who are the Innsmouthers? You're not the biggest fan of these Innsmouthers. Those fish-faced freaks have overrun this city since the police burned Innsmouth to the ground. But now... Those filthy migrants occupy half this damn city. The port, Grimhaven Bay, Salvation Harbor, the shells. They are everywhere. So they're just refugees? <laughs> Hardly. They've taken work from the local fishermen. They stir and agitate against us, the Throgmorton family. We are the pillar of this community, not to mention that crime rates have skyrocketed. Simply speaking, they are a big stinking pile of trouble. Your features are unusual. Let's not offend him yet. Let's talk about the visions. I've man to speak to about visions, outbreaks of hysteria. I'm trying to get to the bottom of it myself. Another newcomer with another problem. <laughs> yes, I know what you speak of. Can I ask you a few questions? How oh, dare you. My son Albert is missing and no one in this Innsmouth, a ridden city, will do a damn thing. But yes, let's talk about your dreams. I can Mr. try to Father, find Albert. Let me help you. I'm rather good at tracking down missing people. Find Albert. What makes you think you can do it? Oakmont is not exactly friendly to new arrivals. Let's just say I tend to see things that others miss. And anyway, what have you got to lose? Sounds like you could use every man you can get. Vera. You have a point, newcomer. Vera? So, did you just say Vera? What does that mean? You had better get used to the Oakmont dialect, outsider. That is, if you want to fit in. It is a fascinating blend. Vera means fine. I was saying, we have a deal. I see. Thank you. Tell me about I the need case. To know more about what happened to Albert. Dame, did you not listen at all? I already told you everything. After leaving Dang. on the expedition, Albert was found on the shore in a lifeboat. This fisherman supposedly brought him to the house, and then left to call me. But when I arrived here, my son was nowhere to be seen. Anything else? Clearly, something suspicious occurred inside the house. I suggest you stop dawdling and go see for yourself. Where's, Where's the, the fisherman's house? house? All happened. For Kay's sake, I thought you were a private eye. We're standing right in front of it. Where's the lifeboat? the lifeboat? Is it still around? Yes. Face the house, then to the left is a beach that borders a fence. You'll find it there. Alright, let's, let's, let's offend him now. The question, but I've never met a man quite like you before. That's because no man measures up to the Throgmorton lineage. Proud and powerful blood flows through our veins. My father united with a certain royal family, which has blessed all our offspring with these exquisite features. As much as I'm enjoying going? the weather, Mr. Throgmorton, it's time for me to get started. Find my son, newcomer, and be quick about it. Hi. You. You're the one who I've said talked to him? I know. I've said everything I know. Don't do anything stupid, newcomer. And keep your hands where I can see them. Oh, wow, it is really dark in here. Do I have a flashlight or something? Alright. 
Okay, it's up and down. Alright. Thongmoth's Innsmouth feud to her Throgmortons and Innsmouth are in an ongoing feud. Abbot uh, Thormonton behaved strangely after returning from the sea. He was mad, violent, and spoke chipperish. Interesting. Uh, give me a moment to get used to the controls here. Robert Th uh, Throgmorton wants to find his son Albert, who went missing in the port after returning from an expedition up to the sea. He was found barely conscious by a fisherman on the shore. Okay, we know all this. We brought him to uh, his house. The fisherman says that Albert was mentally afflicted and acted aggressively before disappearing. Robert arrived to investigate and is now standing in front of the house in question. Until he's found, Robert won't allow anyone to leave the port and he won't help me. The key to a room uh, at the Devil's Reef Hotel. Uh, Jonas van de Berg, or the King in Yellow, said that I need to find a person in the Oatmon port by the name of Robert Thorgmonson. Supposedly he can help me with the visions and he's the one who gave me the quest. And that's the uh, letter that I got at the start. Alright. Huh. This dog mat looks better than the owner's bed. In the books. So we're looking for clues here. Right, hold. Show casings and gunpowder. Just sludge casually the going book into the is room. Damp and damaged, but clearly well cared for. The book is damp and damaged. Can I hold it? But no. Clearly well cared for. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ugh, what am I walking on? What's that sound? What that sludge shit? I'm trying, to, I'm trying to take things slow so I don't miss anything. <laughs> Officer? Let's see what you find, newcomer. It would take tremendous effort to move this thing, let alone tossing it over like this. There's a fierce fight here, but someone tried to flee. Hello? Hey, can you hear me? Ah. Uh, oh, my head. What? Who are you? Are you police? I already told them everything. It's okay. I'm Charles Reed, private eye. Mr. Throgmorton hired me to find his son. Oh, oh okay. What do you want? Uh, who are you first? Uh, name's Will. Will Hammond. I'm a fisherman. We all are. Live here together. Me, poor fella Paul, Barry, and Innsmouth of Lewis Flynn. We moved here after the flood. I worked on the railroad, but the rail ain't kicking anymore, so... I started fishing. It was out of starve. I want to know what, what happened, happened here. Every detail. I don't remember much. Me, Paul, and Lewis. We were here. This is our house. Barry was outside on his business. Then he came back carrying Thogmorton's son. He was unconscious, barely breathing. Barry left again to call Mr. Robert. Then what? We put the guy in Lewis's room. And he started to make these horrible sounds, and, okay, my head began to burst, and he woke up, and after that, I don't remember a thing, just dreams, drowned streets, a sleeping giant, a voice that called me, ah. Uh. Hmm. 
That sounds familiar. A sleeping giant. In, um, love... Oh, I won't say anything. Uh, oh, where are the guys. others? Uh, that's Paul there on the floor. Kay be with him. Barry's outside with Mr. Throgmorton. Lucky rascal missed everything. And I have no idea what Lewis or Throgmorton's son got to. Starting to suspect the worst. Who is this K? K you keep mentioning. Outside of show some respect. K is our lord, our light, our love. Sorry, I didn't know. Okay, so K is their god? Do you what happens to Paul? I don't know. When I pulled myself together, he was already gone. Kay, have mercy on his soul. I'll leave you to it. I gotta go. Take care of yourself, Will. Please, detective, sir, tell me the truth. Could it be me? Did I kill Paul? Or Kay, did I kill him? I don't know yet, Will. The police will stop anyone coming in or out of here, so I suggest you just try and get some rest. I'm afraid of what I might dream. Will uh, Hammond, a fisherman that lives with three other colleagues, Barry Poor and an ant's mouth named Lewis Flint. Uh, Will told me that Barry found the unconscious Albert Thorgmorton and brought him to their house before leaving to inform Robert uh, Thorgmorton. Albert woke up and, and started making horrible sounds. His hysteria seemed to spread to Will, who began to see visions similar to mine. When he recovered, he found Paul dead on the floor. There was no trace of Albert or Lewis. He, do uh, he doesn't remember anything beyond that. I see. Okay, let me get some more clues. I can barely recognize the face of the poor fella. He was beaten to a pulp. What's that blue bar? What the fuck was that? Oh, that's my sanity meter. Oh shit, I remember reading about that. Oh, hang on. Okay, hang on. Wait, 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 wait. Um, where were the tips? Fuck. I gotta, okay, I gotta, I gotta remember to keep my eye, uh, eyes on that. So that's the sanity meter. I gotta be careful with that. If it gets, if it gets too low, I might be in trouble. Choo choo. Ahem. <clears throat> Just a dark figure. A half reflection, if you will. How can people live in these conditions, man? I mean, look at this. I'm surprised they don't have someone's portrait here. Mind I Ah, here we go. Seems like prohibition hasn't affected Oakmont too much. Ah, oh, so this is during the prohibition era? That's cool. Never seen knives like this before. Masterful work. Never seen knives like this before. Masterful work. Oh, here we go, here we go. Glenna, Nihri, Glenna, Game High. New Golden Hopkins. Is that a floating? Oh, 
Oh, here we go. Okay. Uh, retrocognition allows you to understand events that happened in the past. Inspect enough evidence in the scene and a vision will emerge. Step into it and find the critical scenes. It's that bad of a My insanity is getting low. What's happening? Take this, ape face. <laughs> oh, someone got shot. So this guy got his face caved in by a someone holding a barrel, okay. Yeah, run! Okay, let's see what we have here. Yeah, run! Okay, so I get the gist of it. So this is one. Two. Take this. Three. Yeah, run! When Albert Throgmorton woke up, he was not himself. He attacked the fishermen and his hysteria spread to them. When he got wounded, he fled. Oh, did you see that? Fishman brought unconscious Albert uh, Th Throgmorton to his house and left. When Albert woke up, he caused an outburst of hysteria and attacked the rest of the fishermen. One of the fishermen shot him, and Albert fled through the hole in the wall. So Albert attacked the fishermen. How about returned unstable? One fisherman is missing. How about Thornton was dangerous and posed a threat to Lewis Finn and his fellow fishermen? Uh, Throg. Okay, so putting these together make the clues. Olga uh, Throgmorton spread some sort of psychic influence which made everyone nearby suffer hysteria. Oops. One fisherman missing. Albert and the fisherman named Lewis fled the scene after the fight in the house. I can track them using my supernatural senses. Oops. That's not right. As an in's mouth, the Lewis and his people suffered at the hands of the Throgmorters. This could be reason of hate. Okay, I don't think I've got everything yet. So, that's what an in's mouther looks like. Seems like Prohibition hasn't affected Oakmont too much. Five cards short of a full house. All evidence collected. Fuck an oath. 
Okay, I see. I hear. I still hear those voices. <laughs> Let's see what you find, newcomer. Okay, I need to follow the blood. Oh, here we go. So the fisherman pursued Albert, even let off a few shots. New mine pass clue. Abend, the fisherman named Lewis fled to the uh, fled the scene after the fire in their house. I can track the museum. Yep. Uh, Lewis may have wanted Albert dead. Lewis may have wanted to kill Albert outright. Because he was a Throgmorton rather than just to drive him off. Hands are so creepy, dude. Oh, he went this way. Exaggerating when he said he raised him strong. Like a fool in your beauty. <laughs> he fled this way. We're not letting Cthulhu anywhere near us. How's the quality of the stream boom? Is it choppy or anyway? Because every now and then, um, most of, when I'm looking at it, it seems fine. But I do notice it gets choppy at moments. Fuck, it's dark. Is that a bandage? There's something in the pocket. Uh, Lewis, please, just give me one more week. I know I owe you, but I'm underwater like uh, everyone else right now. I don't yet have enough stock to operate the bar smoothly with the fuzz snooping about the port. But don't worry, I've struck a nice deal with the proper people uh, and should have a steady supply channel soon. Just one more week and I'll return everything with double interest, Peter. And the blood is fresh. Whoever it belongs to could not have got far. Okay, I want to explore this upper area first. Why did he come here? What's so special about this warehouse. Gunpowder, alcohol. I go upstairs first too. Okay, can't go up.
A torn piece of jacket stained with blood I found on the log. Okay. How do I get the pistol out? And it's really dark. Like really, really dark. I can't make out anything. Do I not have a flashlight or anything? Fuck are you? What the? Wait, how do I how do I get my gun out? The fuck is that thing? Oh One damn! Fatal round through the forehead. That's no accident. This was deliberate. One fatal round through the forehead. That's no accident. And the body over. Oh. Ah, uh, in the base in the warehouse, not far from the fisherman's house, he was fatally shot in the head. That's the sun. Deliberate. What evidence collected? Another one of those things. Yeah, yeah, I'll go to the mine palace in a second. Lewis the inn's mother that killed Abathorn, uh, Throgmorton may be hiding in the bar in Oatmanport. Lewis the inn's mother that killed Albert Throgwood may be hiding in the bar. So where is the bar? Maybe I should ask the father. He might know. What the hell is that thing? It's not creepy. Your Mr. son was Rob murdered. Morton. I'm afraid I have bad news. No. Yeah. I found your son in the basement of a nearby warehouse. I'm sorry, but he was murdered. Shot in the head and the body hidden. No. It cannot be true. No, no, no. I don't believe it. No. Like sorry for your loss. Mr. For a happier outcome. Your condolences will not bring him back. 
So much of our blood spilt for nothing. So much effort in vain. My poor Albert. Tell me you know who did it. I want to look him in the eyes. Make him beg for mercy. I cannot be yeah, sure yet. Exactly. I have some suspects, but I need to investigate further. What kind of private eye are you? A thorough one. When I find him, I'll tell you. Fine. No one leaves the port until then. Find me that dirt bag, and I'll help you with anything you need. All right, I need to go to the bar. Where's the bar? Focus, place. Oh, this is cool. Okay. What's that? Uh, where's the bar? Oatman Port. That's not very helpful. It might be Oatman City Port. It might be over there. I'm heading the right way. I am. Under the kill. Oh, here we go. Yeah, under the kill bar. Alright, uh, it's this way. Hey. You look familiar, you. but old Billy hasn't seen you around. Stay alert. Monsters lurk underground. They're everywhere. Ugh, I'll miss the carpenter's food giveaway with this darn port closure. Fucking Welcome depressing to town. Kill. What do you want? I need to find a, uh, I'm Lewis for a man Flynn. by the name of Lewis Flynn. Any chance he's here? Yeah. Even if I knew, I don't rat to newcomers. You want him As gone? Happens, I can help. I know you owe a debt to Mr. Flynn. Trouble is. I found your note near the dead body of Albert Throg Morton, son of Robert. So, it seems Lewis is in trouble. Might have even come here to hide. But you hand him over, and he won't be back to collect what you owe. Get me? Throck. That would explain the blood. Fine. If it gets me out of this mess, you can have him. So? He's upstairs. Here's the key. You gotta promise to deal with him once and for all. But save the shooting for outside, huh? Smart man. There's your good deed for the day. I see some unsettling seen creatures some, around. Uh, unsettling creatures around. Like nothing I've ever encountered. What are they? <laughs> so you met a wild beast, newcomer. No one knows what they are, but consider yourself lucky to still be in one piece. They arrived in the flood. Some say they come from the sea. Others that they are Kay's punishment for us. And what do you say? If it bleeds, you can kill it. Keep your gun handy. And if you want to erase the memory, I sell a perfect cure right here. Remember, better to be a coward and live than brave and dead. Unless you're a newcomer. Prick. Bye. What the? Get 
the oh. all right So how do I... Combat. If you are crouched, hostiles are less likely to detect the enemies, any. How do I equip the gun? This is where they killed Alpha. Support. I want to equip my gun. Oh, here we go. Okay, I see. Alright, hold LB. Alright. Hey, who are you? What are you doing? Uh, Charles Reed, private investigator. Mr. Throgmorton hired me to find his son Albert, so... I think you know why I'm here. Ugh. That darn bartender. It was all that crazy ape's fault. You hear me? Calm down. I only want to speak, for now. But no, if you reach for your gun, you'll hit the floor faster than you can say poetic justice. I got nothing to hide. I don't know what happened. Beginning. What happened? We... We, we were in our house, me, Paul, and Will. Mary'd gone to the sea. Though I told him that it would only bring bad luck. If he'd listened to me, we'd all still be alive. Come on, Lewis. Focus. Right. Well, Barry dragged that damn ape to our house. He was bragging about how much Mr. Throg Morton would give us for saving his son. But that ape, he was out cold. Then woke in an instant and started screaming, attacking us. After that, can't remember a thing. You killed you Albert. Why? Kill. No warning, no second chances. You pursued Albert even after he fled. Why? I... Well, I can't remember it. When he woke, it was like a, a bloody mist descended over me. First thing I recall after is that darn warehouse and me... Uh, covered in blood. I had no idea what happened, though. I suspected it had something to do with that ape. Turns out, I was right. Your actions the looked things deliberate. things you did to Albert don't look like a bloody rage. A fatal shot to the head, a hidden body. One might start to wonder if it was deliberate. Well, I don't know what to say. I wasn't myself. Why do your people hate the Throgmortons? There's a bit of a feud between the Innsmouthers and the Throgmortons. Care to fill me in? Those apes hated us from the moment we arrived in Oakmont. Our home was destroyed. We just needed a place to stay. The Blackwood Grand family sheltered us, but others were not as hospitable. We needed jobs, food, and medicine. The city denied it all. And so? We had to fight for every crumb of bread. And those Throgmortons in their high castle only made our life harder. Always conspiring behind our backs. Always setting people against us. I'd love to see them suffer like we suffered. What's a grand family? A grand family. What do you mean? <laughs> so you're a newcomer, huh? Explains a lot. Yeah, a newcomer with a gun. Answer the question. Okay. People here are crazy about bloodlines and tradition and reputation. The head hunters of Oakmont are called the Grand Families. There's the Carpenters, who control most of the city's underworld. The Blackwoods, who share kin with Innsmouthers through the Marsh family. And let me guess, the Throgmortons. Right. Those filthy apes. Now that most of the Blackwoods are gone, there's nobody left to protect us Innsmouthers. Why do you look like that? 
Why do you... your face, it's, uh... Oh, so you're here to attack me just because I look different to you? Wanna spit on me, whisper to your friends? What's new? Uh, no, no, I'm sorry. I, I... I didn't know how to ask. I've just never met someone like you before. I didn't mean any offense. Innsmouther's bodies were blessed by the she. You're gonna see a lot of us here, so you better get over it. We are proud of who we are. I think I've, I've had, had enough. I need. Please, Mr. Reeve, don't tell Frogmorton about me. I know I'm in no position to ask. I didn't want to do whatever it is I did. Honest, have mercy, please. I have a family. Without me, they'll starve. This is I'll not think about exactly it. cut and dry. I need some time to think. Perhaps I can offer something to grease your grinds. I still have a few bullets on me. Getting a good... With the rich guy will come in handy. This guy did just straight up murder him. You think you're the first go, no. person to offer me a bribe? Please, Mr. Reed. Now, don't try my patience further, Mr. Flynn. Alright. I found Lewis Flynn, the Innsmouth fisherman that killed Albert uh, Throgmorton. Hiding at a local bar in the port, he admitted that he uh, he was at the crime scene, but can't remember how exactly he killed Abba Throgmorton. He claims that he was under mental influence, just like the other fishermen at the house, uh, and that he was not in control of himself. He asked me not to give him up to the uh, to Robert Throgmorton. I can either reveal Lewis's whereabouts to Robert Throgmorton or save him and lie to Albert. <laughs> Lewis was aware of what he was doing during the fight with Albert Wonk, uh, Throgmorton. Lewis was mentally affected and couldn't entirely control his actions. I do think it's mentally affected. There is evidence of mass hysteria. I'm going to go this one. Lewis killed Albert Throgmorton while under some sort of mental influence. He couldn't control his actions and thus couldn't, can't be blamed for Albert's death. I could try and cover for him, or else Robert Thro Throgmorton will have him, will have his head. Lewis said that he murdered Albert, uh, psychic influence or not, Lewis was out to murder Albert Throgmorton. He had motive to th the mutual hatred between the Innsmouth and the Throgmortons. Must tell Robert Throgmorton the truth and bring the murderer to justice. Mm. I'm gonna go mental. I'm gonna go that, yeah. Told you the truth, I swear. You 
want a drink? Why do that? What's this yellow question mark here? So I didn't find everything on this boat. Trust a tourist advertisement. Oh, here we go. Oh, I could take a photo of it. Oh, there we go. I pray. The end is nigh. It will begin again. What is down comes up. The seed is sowed. I want that. I want to. One of that tattoo has anything to do with their beliefs. Alright, let's talk to Mr. Throgmorton or whatever his name is. I've seen some same strange creatures here. I've encountered something. Uh, what? I don't have all day. Some unusual creatures. And they sure weren't friendly. You've seen a wild beast, Mr. Reed. I'm somewhat surprised to see you still alive. Those unsettling things appeared after the flood. I've commissioned a few studies on them, but we know little more than when we started. They're aggressive, but fortunately, not immune to gunfire. Yeah, I learned that firsthand. Try to avoid them when possible. And when you can, keep your weapons handy. Murderer is dead. I'm probably going to regret this. I the murderer down, but he was attacked by those things probably in the back alleys. And they tore him apart. It was that Innsmouther fisherman, Lewis. He was covered in your son's blood. That may have attracted the beasts. Are you certain the body is his? Beyond any doubt. All that's left of him is a heap of flesh and this scrap of cloth. It's from his jacket. He has to ask his friends. Alas, this was my revenge to exact, not some wild beasts. Something must be done about those pests. Still, justice has been served. This isn't closure, but at least I know now the story. Thank you. Mr. Throgmorton, I hate to press you, but do you think you could help me now? Yes, you've earned it. Okay, to think a newcomer barely off the boat solves a crime the police couldn't, but I digress. Remind me, what brought you to Oakmont? Trying to find the source of my visions, I'm investigating, I'm investigating, investigating cases of I'm insanity. I'm looking into an outbreak of erratic behavior and madness, all linked to shared visions of this place. Indeed. Then our goals align. This inexplicable hysteria has spread through Oakmont after the flood. I funded an expedition to explore recent geological activity that may be responsible.
uh, uh, why a geological, a geological expedition? expedition? I'm not sure I follow. I have reason to believe the flood and this madness have the same source. As above, so below. So I sent men to find out. Any links? Any cases of hysteria involve shared visions as well? Since the flood, many oak monsters have had similar nightmares. Indeed, Professor Doe, the expedition leader, complained of them herself. Waterlogged ruins with unnatural architecture. A sleeping giant drowned streets. And a voice calling from the depths. Her words exactly. She proposed the expedition, desperately wanting to find the cause. You think the flood is unnatural? Flood. You think it's more than just a natural disaster. You weren't here, Mr. Reed. What happened defied scientific explanation. Any discoveries so far? Found anything? I do not know. Albert is... Albert was part of it. His passing cannot be coincidence. Why was he alone at the port? And where are the others? The murder and the expedition are linked. was killed because the expedition uncovered something. Is it so hard to believe? I had no news for a week that Albert, the only one I could trust, comes ashore and is killed. It does sound suspicious. Mr. Reed, I want you to find out what's going on. I expect you're as interested in the expedition's results as I am. Tell me more about if the expedition. I'm going to look into this, I'll need to know more. Where should I start? I'll give you the address of the expedition's headquarters and a key. That's all you can tell me? Let me be clear, Reed. You do not speak to me like that again. I'm sorry, Mr. Throckmorton. I just meant the more I know, the better. I am a busy man. I funded the research, but left all preparations to Professor Doe and... Albert, when you've finished, come see me at the Throgmorton family manor. It's in Old Grove. Here, I'll show you. What about Let's my talk expenses? Payment. They will be reimbursed after you complete your task. And of course, you've earned some compensation for your work here at the port. I'll also include a fair advance in bullets. Ah, uh, bullets? The dollar lost its use here, Mr. Reed. After the flood, Oakmont returned to bartering. Bullets mean more than bills. Alright. We got a revolver, am ammo. Yeah, what do we got? Trophy. That's an interesting animal, actually. Trophy plate with a strange fish. Looks very lifelike. Oh. Hang on, inventory. Resources are scarce. I'm going to try to sneak around most enemies. Alright, where to now? Uh, I kind of want to go to the um, key to the headquarters. Robert Throgson gave me a key to the expedition's headquarters. Uh, I want to head to my hotel. Uh, Robert Throgmorton funded an expedition to discover the origin of mass hysteria gripping Oatmont. The expedition was to explore the seabed near Oatmont. Contact with the expedition was soon lost. Albert Throgmorton was the only known survivor. He was subsequently murdered. I was hired to find any other expedition members, dead or alive. Throgmorton will be waiting for my report in his mother, Southern Old Grove. Alright, but where can I go?
have a look around. I find some resources where I'm able to craft more ammunition. Since bullets are the currency in this game, kind of like Metro, I've got to find. I've been all around here. Yeah, no, nah, there's nothing else here. Alright, let's move on. I never got to let me to what the oh. Hey. Got a spare bullet, fella? I ain't eaten in days. Oh man. If it was an option, I'd probably give it to you. <sighs> the door won't budge. Looks like he left. You want a drink? Come the voices. Someone's messaging me. What's up? What's going on with my phone? I want to see what happens with the hallucinations. <sighs> oh, hello. Who are you? Oh Jesus fucking Whoa. Anyway, before I do that Let me drop a save because I'm probably gonna die here. Let's keep it going. See what happens. Oh shit, okay. Okay, so that so things start attacking you. Alright. So that's what happens. Damn. 
Are you? Oh yeah, you're real. Okay. Robert Throgmonson founded an expedition to discover the origin of the mass hysteria theory are gripping. Oh yeah, we know we've read all this. Yeah, I... Never again, they say. Dear Mr. Reed, I understand you are the private eye that uh, caught the murderer in the port. My life is in danger and I cannot trust anyone in this city. Please come to my room, uh, which is just opposite yours. I am, dis I am in despair. My studies have drawn the attention of vile forces. They stalk me. It will take me soon. I have cast my, uh, cast my lot and, and, and am beyond saving. But the seven books find my notes... Oh, wait, no. But the seven books must be saved at any cost. Even if I'm gone, find my notes there. The knowledge must not be lost, as a uh, as it could be our kind's last hope for enlightenment. Please be the bearer of this light, for I uh, for I have failed. All that we see or seen is just a dream within a dream. Charles W. E. Crew of the Cyclops. Semper Fortis, brothers. My Diary, Part 1. Uh, how do we... Okay. I don't know what exactly sank the USS Cyclops. I remember the screams and the mental and the metal creaking, water filling the deck, and my headache, the worst I've ever had. I found myself among the floating seaweed, drowning. A nearby piece of a boat helped me survive and reached the shore of a small island. They found me on it later, starving, half mad, and babbling about the ancient runes and their uh, denizens. The officials said none of uh, none of what I thought I'd seen was real, but my memories are true. My strange powers uh, gained from that ordeal prove it. I found something horrible in that island, something old and dark and slithering, and it still haunts me. Oh, Latinum. No matter how much of this I chug down, the visions always return. Oh. Oh, the wind coat looks nice. Ooh, yeah, that's a good look. Anyway, I need the light. Hell yeah, alright. Mr. Reed, it seems that you have overexerted yourself while conducting the investigation for Mr. Throgmorton. Forgive me for the audacity, but I brought you to the Devil's Reef while you were unconscious. Please, take more care of yourself in the future. 
I won't be there f uh, for you every time. King in yellow. Makes this place feel more like home. I miss Boston already. It took a lot of effort to track down this book. Uh, after being stolen from the Throgmorton Museum, it was brought by a local surgeon who was found dead in his house after the flood. I snuck in, checked out his place, but in vain. Still, there is somewhere else the time may be. The private hospital in Western Reed Heights, where the surgeon worked, has been abandoned. The archives say it, uh, say it is on uh, Bourbon, uh, Bourbon Street. Bourbon Road, between Innsmouth Road and Oak Street. Bourbon Road, huh? Roosevelt, St. Lincoln Street. That's the archives, right? Yeah, the Chronicles. Inns Martha Road and Oak Street in between them. Where is this place? Oh, here we go. Innsmouth Road. Oh, there it is. Bourbon Road. Oh. Right. It's not, okay, so it's like somewhere here. So it's here. Okay, let me get like, let me get rid of that. Uh, it's there somewhere. All right. Uh, building the church was his redemption. Day after day, he worked without payment, carrying stone and putting them in the moist soil of Salvation Harbor. At night, when he returned to his house behind the church, he could not sleep. Uh, the, the book his ancestors brought across the ocean cord. Uh, when the church was built, the priest found him hanged on, on the bell noose, Jesus. But the book is still waiting for someone to come and read it. His house is, 
is in Central Salvation Harbour on Old Church Road between Seven Oaks Street and, Win and Winham Street. Sewer has a bad fame and no one wants to live there even after the flood. Right, I'm going to pause here. I'm going to... Oh, Mr. Cthulhu. <laughs> hey, I'm going to go bathroom uh, real quick. Uh, boom. Tell me the quality of the stream. Let, um, when I come back, I want to know, I want to know how it is, if it's choppy or anything. Just let me know, yeah? In the meantime, I'm going to go bathroom. I'm going to probably get some water too, so I'll be right back. BRB.
I was craving a bit of a soft drink, so I got a solo no sugar. Ah, that's good shit. Alright. Um, is in Sensual Salvation Harbor. Yeah, so Sensual Salvation Harbor is here. And Seven Oak Street and Windhelm Street between them. Seven Oaks and Windhelm. Windhelm and Seven Oaks. So here somewhere. Had a dream so real, it makes my hands shake. A huge ferris wheel rose amidst the city. People got on and rode it higher and higher before jumping off of its peak. As the pile of corpses grew bigger, the crowd pushed me to the wheel. And then I saw a man with a leather bag. He was standing in the center of the wheel and reading from a book. His awful d um, d uh, dirg was making the wheel rotate and dragging the crowd to their slaughter. Could this vision be real? I know there is a ferris wheel at the park in Reston Old Grove near Centre Avenue and Deacon Street. And and where and where could the book be? Miss Western Old Grove. Center Avenue and Beacon Street. Center Ab Center and Beacon. Old Grove, New East Soggy Repix. Center Avenue. And what was the other one? Beacon. Here somewhere. Did it say in between or on the corner of? Paris Hill at the park, okay. Let me mark this here. The local legends may be more than mere superstition. A dozen witches were hanged on a huge apple tree that still grows near the cedar mill. Among these documents is a confession. One of the witches said the devil himself granted them a book with words of power. This book hides itself from mortal eyes, waiting for the witches to be reborn and return to claim it. The witch who wrote this confession lived in Eastern Reed Heights, somewhere north of the intersection of Communion Road and Museum Avenue. 
Could ah, uh, could the book still be hidden there? Reed Heights. Communion and Museum. Reed Heights. Communion and Museum. Somewhere around there. North of the intersection. So like here somewhere. The fishermen talk of a place uh, talk of a place near the Blackwood Manor in the southern part of Whisper Street. Where meetings occur in the dead of night, the locals don't like this part of the eastern Grimhaven Bay because they seem to fear those who gather near the half-built ships. They say a certain book is read at these meetings, a cursed time that makes people so crave the sea's touch that they go and drown in the ocean. The one reading the book stands on a cursed boat and is, that sinks the fog. Those who saw it Touched the shore, have either gone mad or disappeared. Grimhaven Bay. Whisper Street, part of Eastern Grimhaven Bay. Grimhaven Bay is here. What was the street again? Whisper Street. East. There it is. Whisper Street. Southern End. So here. I boarded up the windows and locked the door. They they are just men. The yellow The Yellow King, baby! Fuck yes! The Yellow King's gang. We can't get here now. Now there's only me. Uh, me and these nightmares. A little longer and I'll figure them out. Alright, so the Yellow King is involved. Local women were talking about a ruined house in Central Coverside. Near the radio tower on the crossing of Landing Avenue and Kingsport Street. It said the ghosts of the house owner and his family still read the unholy book they kept. Several newcomers who tried to settle in those ruins have gone mad. Central Coverside near uh, Landing and Kingsport. Coverside, Landing and Kingsport. Landing Kingsport on the crossing, yeah, so here. Talking with the locals is never easy, but this old chap was one of the uh, curious yet. He was happy to talk about the book, but only laughed when I proposed to buy it. I left it in the most guarded place of the city and paid enough to keep it there until the world's end. And if it is abandoned after the flood, even better. Ignorance is the best guardian. I'm guessing he meant the abandoned bank building in Northern Advent on Forefather Street between Helog Street and Windhalf Avenue. Alas, it would be too dangerous to go there by myself. Did you find uh, HP Lovecraft twer <laughs> twerking yet? Not yet. Mm. But if the king in yellow tells me to twerk, I'll twerk my ass off. Benebank, 
uh, Northern Advent on Forefather Street. Advent, Northern, Forefather Street. Helog and Windhalf. Helog, Windhalf, Forefathers. Alright. Alright, I think I got everything now, right? Okay, so I got the location of all the books. Let's go say hi. The door. Mr. Archer, I've seen you dragging things into your room. Mind the floors. I'll make you pay for any scratches you leave, your landlord. Okay, my sense should be able to tell me which doors are open, which ones are not. None of these, none of these are explorable. So let's head out of here. Finally, you're awake. Gotta tell you. Jesus, though, dude, you look dead. Mister, you want to stay on here? You stop making all that noise. noise. What noise? What? What noise are you talking about? I expect my guests to be respectable. Moans, chanting, all that kind of thing. It stops, all right? <sighs> okay. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. I don't really remember what happened, but I'll, I'll do my best. Yeah, well... Next time it happens, you end up sleeping under the bridge like the other newcomers. You're not exactly friendly with your guests. Aren't we the ones keeping you in business? All these newcomers after the flood, they're stark raving mad. What do you mean? You can't imagine the crazy notes and books I find after they move out. Only thing they're good <coughs> for is lighting the kitchen stove. Can I have a look? I knew it. I tell you, no one sane would be interested. And you want to take a look? Well, fine, fine. Take what you wish. I'm not reading that. I know what you're trying to do, Boom. Local women were talking about a ruined house in Central Coverside, near the radio tower. Oh yeah, I got that. Uh, talking with the locals was never easy, but this old chap was one of the curious. Yeah, he was happy to talk about the book. Uh, okay. Oops. <coughs> Fuck me. This city, no matter how badly the flood damaged it, has an unnatural appeal. I can't stop myself from, walk, uh, from walking even if it means being stru uh, struck by further visions. I went to the eastern part of Salvation Harbor near the crossing of Fitzhall Calm Street and Old Church Road. Uh, it came. The feeling of loneliness and fear was immense. I was a woman locked in a room infested with slowly... Okay, so these are... This a fear with immense. I was a woman locked in a room infested with slowly rotting my body turned into something. It itched badly and my face. I had to hold the skin with... Oh, Jesus Christ. Skin with both hands to prevent it from growing until I suffocated. I ended up sitting on the road, crying until some inn's mouth kicked me and ordered me away. So, okay, so these are letters. 
that I've re uh, that uh, that must be linked to visions, like other people hallucinating. My visions are testing me, playing with my mind. The old forsaken fears come to life. When I was small, I was afraid to stay alone. I thought my parents would leave and never come back. Today, I went to the eastern streets of Coverside, and the visions came uh, on the corner of St. Elmo Lane and Kingsport Street. I felt I was alone, forgotten in a locker room, hungry and frightened. It was so scary to stay inside, but everything was much worse behind the door. Something scratched in the corridor. There was and there were terrifying screams from outside. I could not run. I could not hide. I said for my mum returned. All right, so we'll grab these in a moment. Right now, we're doing this one. Dear Mr. Victor, how in Oatmont, how is Oatmont treating you? Should you require any support, the uh, Blackwoods will be happy to help you. I have arranged for that. Regarding your question, I don't know where Robert went. Sadly, only that he did not stay in Innsmouth. Perhaps there is hope he didn't perish in that cursed raid. Take good care of the hotel, please. Plenty of our relatives were, in, were interested in the property. I, uh, you're still my favorite nephew. I know the Devil's Reef is in good hands. Kind regards, Aunt Portia. I'll never leave you and uh, that dumb Luke. <laughs> Did he give me the book? I'm watching you, newcomer. A shot of power, powerful antipsychotics to keep your mind clear when you need it. Ignore the side effect. <laughs> it's like... Oh, hello, there's another thing here. Darren, I think I'm finally starting to figure this out. Locals use signs to make spe uh, to mark special places that you know that you or know already. Kind of like the secret sign hobos use all over the country. What I learned is that the tra that the tradition dates back to times well before the flood. I've been able to find out the meaning of some of them. Uh, you've seen the crooked H-shaped sign on doors around town. That means that the house is inhabited. The crosshatch grid uh, sign marks hidden caches of useful items. Cool. The V-shaped sign is for barricaded, dangerous places. Good catch there, they say. So I haven't figured out the spiral-shaped sign, though. Uh, you will have to investigate for yourself. And if you see a sign with a cross and three Ks, reach for a gun. Okay. That's actually quite useful. The fuck is that thing? Yo, look at the look at the size of this fucking is that even a crab? What is that? Yeah, it is a crab. Yeah, it is. Look at the size of this behemoth. Imagine the meat. Alright. Well, there's another letter here. Walter. K help you. Uh, K help you if I hear uh, you're peddling your cheap, affordable living again. I could live with you, uh, with you renting out beast-ridden flop houses. But you're cutting into my profit. Don't make that mistake. I know you're on the, f you're on the fish market. And I have dangerous people living there that I can send after you. You've been warned, Vic. Hang on, there's this some there's a document that I want. This one. I kinda wanna pin it. Alright, never mind.
Where was that book he was talking about? I'm sure. I, I think it gave it to me. Alright, let's move. Let's get the fuck out of here. New fast travel point unlocked. Devil's Reef. You got crabs? <laughs> wow. Ah, uh, goddamn it, boom. Alright. So let us head over here first. Time in the ruins. The ruins near the radio tower in central cover site on the crossing of Landing Avenue and Kingsport Street. Right, let's head over there. So now, first, second, third, fourth left. Oh, it's all flooded. I use the. I oh, I can, okay. Wait, what's going on there? There's just some people walking about. What was that? Did you see that? Oh shit. Uh, can I talk? No, that's not like I can talk to this guy. Next one up. Next left. I get through? I should be able to, yeah. Ritualistic tattoos. I kind of want to take a photo of that. Might come in handy later. I doubt it, but we'll see. Okay, straight up ahead. There's the radio tower. You're an interesting looking fella. You got the same tattoos as the dude I was praying but before. Near the radio tower. Radio tower. Guessing these here. Oh fuck you, you wasn't, wasn't loaded? Little shit. The combat is jank, but I mean, I'm not complaining.
Oh my god, look at the size of that one. Oh damn it, that was the antiseptic. Oh, fuck's sake. Long thing. There you go. Fuck, that scared actually scared me. Thought something was happening. Find that damn book. Give them a hug. Nope, no, no. Get, get up, get up, get up, get, bro. What the fuck are you doing? Get up. The fuck is that thing? Okay, there was definitely there was something there. Stealth doesn't seem to do shit in this game. I can handle, but that thing was fucking massive. Oh my god, look at its head! Ah, uh, I killed it. Looks like it's just that one. I can handle that one. Okay, 38 rounds, alcohol. Got two shots in this gun.
So what was the reason of coming here? I think I'm stuck in here. Oh, no, 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 I can, I can do this. Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, no, that's not right. Okay, so it's not the fire escape. Okay, it's not the chain. So I'm not supposed to go up. What am I supposed to do? Book's supposed to be somewhere here. These are the ruins, right? I get the No 
I'm not sure what it is I'm supposed to do here. Like, I feel like the book should be here somewhere. There's like nothing to interact with down here. Like this, the clock stands out. It's like something is supposed to be here and it's not. There's nothing underneath. Nothing to do with the bed. I'm honestly not sure what to do here, guys. There's an invisible wall here. I can't go there. Tried shooting the chain, nothing happens there. Maybe I missed it. Nah, that can't be it. Yeah, we would like highlight or something. Hmm. I'm definitely here. The ruins near the radio tower in central Coverside on the crossing of Landing Avenue and Kingsport Street. Maybe this isn't the right building. There's the radio tower. Maybe there's another set of ruins that I don't know about? I mean, those are definitely runes, you know? It honestly feels like the right place. It just got dark real fucking quickly. Jesus fucking... Okay, we're not we're not going there. Let me let me pass, please. <laughs> Fuck! They went through. Oh, you're still alive. And it's very buggy with the AI and shit. It's sad to think this game was a mistake. I'm going crazy. I feel like I'm supposed to get on there somehow. Like, I feel like I'm supposed to go through the window, but I can't.
Yeah, I can't. I'm not sure what it is I'm supposed to do. Oh Jesus Christ, they aren't they're on me. Help me, please. The hell are you? on your back. I honestly don't know what to do. What if I can hit him through here? Oh god, it's you. Oh god, you hit me, okay. Shoot them, dickheads! Go on, shoot them! <laughs> I have a feeling this game was a very bad idea. <laughs> oh, fuck. There's the radio tower. Those... And that's got to be the right spot, but I'm not seeing anything. There is another set of ruins. Like... Oh, that's going into Kingsport Street, not where we need to go. What is this? Hospital. Interesting. <clears throat> okay, that time they didn't notice me. Anything at all over here? No. There's got to be something here. I'm just... Not seeing it. Oh, it's bugged. Like, these are the ruins. Like, this... It's su something supposed to be here. Maybe I can get a clue with the note. Home in the rooms. Like when we were talking about a ruined house in the central cover side, near the radio tower and the crossing of Landing Avenue, which is where I am now. They said the ghosts of the house owner and his family still read the unholy book they kept. Several newcomers have tried to settle in. Those ruins have gone mad.
I'm seeing nothing, man. I don't know. I honestly don't know what I'm missing. Okay, so I'm supposed to fall down. I'm just not seeing it. Anything on over here? On this little platform? No. Hang on. I gotta see if something's bugged. It wouldn't get him come. Sinking city. Ruins. It's home. I gotta know if it's bugged or not. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm definitely in the right area. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, it's not a... I'm not looking for a book. I'm looking for something else. Oh my... That's what I'm looking for? Oh my god, that's a thing? I need to get into psychotic. Yeah. Right, I'm good. Oh my god, that's what I that's what I had to do. I didn't know that. Along the shore the cloud waves break. The twin suns sink beneath the lake. Their shadows lengthen in uh Carcosa. Strange is the night where black stars rise, and strange moons circle through the skies, but stranger still is the lost Carcosa. Uh, Songs that the Hades shall sing, where flap the tatters of the king, must die unheard in a dim Carcosa. Song of my soul, my voice is dead, die though unsung, as tears unshed. Shall dry and die in lost Kakosa. Fuck, I didn't know that was a thing. Alright. Now I know.
to get another that angle too, because why the fuck not? Okay, I've got a better understanding of this game now. I figured there was a way up there, but I couldn't put my finger on it. Alright. We got the first time. How do you fast travel? I know this is a fast travel spot. How do you fast travel? Tell me how to fast travel. Let me visit this hospital real quick. I'll visit the hospital and then I'm going to end the stream there. New fast travel spot, okay. How do I fast travel? All oh, right, the phones, the phones, right? There we go. Okay, the phones. All right, that's right. I remember. Patient or visitor? Hold on, hold on. Let Dr. Grant guess. A uh, visitor. Though you are a bit pale, you don't have a headache, do you? Uh, so yes, a bit. Nothing to write home about. Ah, a chronic headache sufferer. <laughs> Fascinating. Uh, by coincidence, I was studying Helminth and their role in illness uh, before the flood. Uh, did you know that all of us are infected by Helminth? Your headaches could indicate that they have infested your brain. That's news to me, Doc. Sounds serious. Hmm. May I suggest you become a subject in my experimental medical program? <laughs> Why not? Experimental medicine. Well, I guess it can't be any worse than the asylum in Boston. Count me in. Uh, I'm delighted to hear that, Mr... Uh, Reed. Charles Reed. Mr. Reed, take these pills with some water. They're a potent measure against parasites. Contact me when you feel improvement. Oh, God. <laughs> Fuck was that thing on my screen? What the hell did you give me, Doc? Is something wrong? You seem perfectly healthy to me. Your medicine blinded me. And then it gave me these visions. Worse than a blow to the head. What are you trying to pull? Intriguing. These side effects are a new development. I'll have to run some more tests. Let me know if anything else happens, won't you? It looks so like hard can work in these conditions. You need a hand? 
Well, yes, actually. But it may result in close contact with the wilds. Is that going to be a problem? I'm, uh, I'm, I'm prepared not afraid. to face men and beasts alike. Count me in. Ah, I can see it in your eyes. Well, I have taken it upon myself to study the wild beasts, but need more data to confirm two of my hypotheses. One concerns the multi-handed creatures, and the other the vomiting humanoids. Oh, great. What have you found out creatures. about the multi-handed beasts? One of my patients saw them in his nightmares before the flood. I can't visit him, but he must know something. Here's his address. Uh, those Probably hideous wretches say? seem almost human. But what could turn one into such a monstrosity? Jim Bells, a patient of mine, was admitted to hospital with symptoms resembling cholera, but he turned into one of those things. Incredible. Here's the address. Find out what happened. Bye. That is. I was hoping to buy some shit from you, fam. Some supplies there. Let's do this guy's side quest first before we really go snooping around. In case he has some secret and he tries to kill us afterwards. Surgery and storage, reception, patients to a patient. Alright. Well, I'm going to end the stream here. Uh, drop a save real quick. You can only have up to three saves. Alright. Yeah. Alrighty, guys. With that, I am off. So firstly, I want to thank Boom for coming around on the chat. I want to thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Alright everybody, take care, and have a good one.